We had round one of wintry weather this past Thanksgiving Thursday. It looks like round two is on tap for Monday morning, and this could last into the middle of this upcoming work week. Thanks for joining us. This is the National Weather Service in Des Moines with the decision support briefing for the heavy snow potential and also the potential for ice accumulation across portions of Iowa. Snowfall looks to be the highest in northwestern Iowa, so the further north and west you go in the state, the higher the expected totals. Timing-wise, Monday morning through Tuesday afternoon is, and evening is when we expect to see this accumulating snow. The highest snowfall totals will likely be Monday after afternoon into the evening hours. For ice accumulations, the furthest uh, southwest that you go is where we'll likely see the highest totals. Uh, so west central Iowa, southwest Iowa is where we're looking at the ice. And then the highest amounts will likely fall Monday morning here before the sunrise period. Whether you're in the heavy snow or the ice accumulations area, we could see some slick and ice covered or snow covered roads. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Plan on some extra travel time for your Monday morning commute. Walkways may also be slippery, so take it easy out there in parking lots. Headlines here, well, we have a winter storm warning up in the northwestern part of the state. This is basically from Mason City to Fort Dodge to Atlantic and to the north and west. And then a winter weather advisory. This does include Polk County, Marshalltown, and the Waterloo areas. Our snowfall totals here, once again, amounts will be likely increasing the further north and west you go. Around the metro, we're not looking at very much, maybe just a light dusting or so. That's because temperatures will probably be near above 32 degrees, so we'll likely see more of the freezing rain rain mixture. But there's a pretty sharp gradient here as we get towards Fort Dodge, Mason City, and to the northwest of those locations. That's kind of the cutoff line. That's where we expect to see the accumulation amounts start to pile up. So when you get to Esterville, we could definitely be in that 6 to 8 inch range for a snowfall accumulation. Ice accumulation, again, we're kind of looking at uh, kind of southwestern, west central Iowa for uh, the likeliest uh, locations to see the most amount of ice. So plan on the potential for some slippery travel, especially once again for that Monday morning commute. Wrapping everything up, snowfall, again, 5 to 9 inches. That really depends on where you live. The highest amounts will be to the north and to the west around the Des Moines metro. We're not looking at too much snow, but we could see that ice accumulation, which could definitely impact the roadways. So uh, plan on leaving maybe a little bit earlier Monday morning and reduce travel speeds. Slick and snow-covered uh, roadways and walkways are possible, so be careful out there in parking lots. Snowfall or ice accumulation-wise, we're looking at the most ice uh, likely falling Monday morning, but we'll continue a little bit until the afternoon, especially as we get up to towards Ames and uh, maybe towards the Iowa Falls locations. You can always stay up to date, 511ia.org. Definitely check that before heading out. You can see road conditions, slippery roadways, closed roadways, all of the above. Weather.gov slant Des Moines, our website. We have a decision support page you can check there or you can check your local forecast. We're also on Twitter and Facebook, 24-7-365. So be sure to interact with us there. Follow us at NWS Des Moines. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.